KC, how do I get the maximum amount of hours for my caregiver? Now look, if this is your question, stick around to the end because I promise you I'm going to give you a very good answer to this one. How do you get the maximum amount of hours? That's easy. What's my name? My name is Kion Church. Who am I? I'm the Delaware District Administrator of Reliable Aid Inc. So what do we do? What do we do? We provide a safe solution for seniors, you know? What we, what we specialize in is helping financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid Long-Term Health Care Program, or what's more commonly known as LTSS. And we actually do that because uh, we don't feel like no family should have to suffer because they're taking care of other people. You know what I mean? You should be blessed. You should be rewarded. You should be uh, 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 bountifully gifted, you know what I mean, if, you, if you're if willing to help somebody else, you know what I mean? If you're willing to stick your neck out for somebody else, man, it's got to be some kind of return, you know? So, uh, a lot of people ask me from the flip side, you know what I mean? A lot of members ask me, KC, you know, I got a caregiver. We already do the Medicaid program. I'm already in, you know what I mean? I'm locked in with LTSS. You know, I got a case manager. I got this good uh, caregiver coming, you know, we getting paid, we all that. The question is, how do I get more hours? Or how do I get the maximum amount of hours for the caregiver, caregiver that I already had? Easy. Uh, what we do is we got a system. You know, we, we got a system. Not, not every company is not like Reliable Aid. You know what I mean? But Reliable Aid is the best, so I'm going to give you the best information. Uh, it really starts in the interview. You know, we, I'm going to just run through the whole process with you, you know what I mean? Because some people aren't up to this point where, you know, a lot of people are right now. So, first thing is, you want to get into LTSS, you want to turn in your application. After you turn in the application, they'll give you a case to a, uh, to a uh, financial worker and to a nurse, you know? And then what happens, uh, financial worker to make sure your finances are straight, the nurse... She'll make sure you are uh, medically eligible. And then the third part of, uh, of the whole conversation, the whole get into the program is called the interview. Now, I like the interview the best because this is where we can capitalize at the most. You know, quick shout out. If you're here with me right now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in the rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. If you know somebody Medicaid long-term health care program or they're trying to get into the program and get a paid caregiver, or they have a caregiver and they try to get more hours, make sure you share this broadcast with them. You know, do what you got to do. Type their name in the comment. Uh, you know, press share on your thing. Let them know. Do something. But this is good information. So I'm going to tell you right now, the number one way to get more hours, talk to the people. If you haven't been, uh, if your care hasn't gone into effect with the caregiver just yet, you still got a chance at the interview to tell the case manager everything you need. But, you know, I ain't talking bad about people, but some case managers is lazy. You know what I mean? They they don't they don't want to do nothing. You know what I mean? They put too many hours on your report, then they got to turn it in to the uh, to the supervisor, and they got to get the director to sign. They real lazy. They don't want to do a lot. So this is what you do. After they get you set up, if they don't give you the amount of hours that you feel that you deserve, you uh you get a progress note. You get a, you get some sheets. You, you every day you get your uh you get your caregiver to write down what they did for you. You know. Every day, every day, you, you make that, that, that stack thick, man. And then, you know, end of the month, you turn that all into the case manager and say, look, man, what you going to do, you know, or go with reliable aid. And then, you know, now you got a mouthpiece to talk for you because I ain't scared of these people. You know what I mean? They going to tell you whatever it is they want to tell you, but all of it ain't necessarily good. And we're going to get to the bottom of some things, you know, we need to get the maximum amount of hours for our caregivers. You know, they allot a lot of time for you, you know, to go ahead and get things done and, 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 and to get you as much help as you need. You know, some days I know how it is. You know, my pop got two doctor's appointments right now. He eating right now. I'm getting take him out of here. Doctor's appointment. Then we got to go somewhere else. A lot of little things get thrown into the schedule. You know, you as the member, you need as much help as you can get. Try not to uh, have yourself limited and, you know, be stuck in the bag. You know what I mean? If you have any problems, make sure you call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. You know, I'm the in-home health care boss. Any questions that you got, any concerns, you're trying to get them hours up, you need a better case manager, you don't know if your application has been accepted. You know, it's a lot of things going on. If you need some help, call me, you know. Also, if you're a caregiver out here and you're working and you can't uh, make ends meet, you know what I mean? Sometimes your stomach might be touching your back even though you're getting paid, you know what I mean, on your regular job. If you need extra caregiver income, 
we make a residual income. You know what I mean? I got caregivers that's chewing right now. They 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 uh they chewing heavy because uh you know type situations going on in the world. You know, gotta do some other things to make some other money. Never neglect your parents, your loved ones, any of them for the money. Gotta take care of them, but at the same time, gotta take care of yourself. If you need another opportunity, make sure you chime in and let me know. Put your name in the comments, hit me in the DM, do whatever it is you gotta do. Mr. Howard, how you doing today, man? Hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast, hashtag your city and state. Where are you watching this from, man? Make sure you're sharing this, uh, this good info because you'd be surprised a lot of people could benefit from this. All right? If you need me, holler at me, man. You know how to get to me. Catch you tomorrow. Peace.